COVID really uh, shut down a lot of the manufacturing plants and it took a lot of time, but we're excited about it. It's one of the mayor's initiatives and uh, we're looking forward to putting these into the hands of the Department of Water. And the Water Department gets four of them and Growth and Planning Management gets four. And um, I know you're gonna love these vehicles. I've ridden in them. Uh, Sal Rosario, my boss, took me for a ride. First day, got it. And it was a little bit like smoking the bandit. I, we were in hot pursuit. I don't know what we were pursuing, but we were going fast. That thing goes from zero to 45 quicker than anything I've been in. Uh, it's a real nice car. Uh, I'm impressed with them. You'll be impressed with them too. So at that, I'd like to ask Sal to come up and introduce the mayor and get started. Sal, are you around? Yeah. Right oh, here. <laughs> Didn't go far. Morning, everybody. Just uh, before we start, I'd just like to take a couple of minutes and recognize a couple of folks. Um, some of the staff that made today possible, uh, Ashley Bauman, Keith Bruton, Gary Stewart, the manager of uh, Fleet, and Deborah Cole, my, my aide, they all, and, uh, and Adri, Kalina, they did a great job. And uh, of course, uh, you know, today's possible with these vehicles, with the vision of our mayor and our chief of staff. We appreciate and kind of say thanks to them. Uh, on a personal note, I do have one of these vehicles assigned to me, and I'm telling you the technology is outstanding. Um, uh, the performance on the vehicle, it, it matches anything that's on the road today, and, and it has all the, all the accessories that you need. Uh, and so we're very happy with these vehicles, and the plan is to add more over, or in the future. Now I'd like to introduce the person who had the vision and are responsible for all of this, our Mayor Jane Castor. Thank you, Sal and Pete. If the cars have half the energy that Dessa has, then we're in, uh, we're definitely in good luck. If we could, or uh, in good shape, if we could bottle that, uh, we'd have it made. But this really is an exciting day uh, for the city of Tampa to be able to start down that path of realization to take all of our fleet uh, electric. We're looking to add a handful of electric cars every single year up to the point of the entire fleet becoming electric. You see the cars around here right now. We are also looking at uh, electric garbage trucks and we are also looking at some of the heavy equipment. As that technology advances, we will be able to realize that dream of, of all electric. And these cars really are remarkable. As Pete said, they do have uh, uh, quite a bit of pickup. That's one of the misnomers about the electric cars is that they don't have the power uh, that the, uh, the, the gasoline cars have. And that's just, uh, that's incorrect. Um, also, you have to look at the reduction in the carbon footprint by going electric. Uh, we're cutting down the emissions by 66%. And then also, the cost savings, it costs, if you look at the sticker price of these newer cars, the initial purchase is more expensive than your average car. But if you look at the long term, we're going to be saving money. We're saving money clearly on fuel. We're saving money on maintenance. There's uh, fewer moving parts and they last longer. And so it really is a, a benefit financially and it's a savings to our our taxpayers and we always look to be good stewards of the tax dollars and so we are looking into the future i sit on the heart board we're looking at purchasing um, uh, electric buses as well we have put in charging stations at a number of our facilities around the city but these uh, electric cars the average trip is 40 miles and they can go up to 200 miles and be charged from a dead battery all the way full in a little, just a little bit over 11 hours. And so having these charging stations at different locations is, uh, is, is quite a benefit. So it's, uh, 
It's a very exciting day here for the city of Tampa, and I know Sal, he's bragged about his electric car. I was kind of hoping Charlie Miranda would be out here because he drives an electric car on a regular basis, so he could give a little bit of a, a testimonial as well. But uh, before everybody freezes to death, I thought, you know, we're rolling out the electric cars here. We probably should be rolling out electric blankets uh, here in Florida with our our temperature gets below 60 degrees and we think we're all going to freeze. So we are going to, I can open it up for questions. Anybody that uh, may have a question, otherwise we're going to go ahead and demonstrate. I used to be a driving instructor out here on this pad. So uh, the staff is trying to get me all amped up to go out and do a couple J turns or some, uh, some pits out here. But I'll try to keep it a little more reserved uh, today just to ensure I don't I don't uh, uh, take out any of our city employees or members of the media. But we really are excited about this. This is one more step in trans transforming Tampa's tomorrow with these electric vehicles. Hey.